3H. Uh, na future unicorn. Nag-live ako ngayon kasi meron, kay- meron sa inyo mga nagtatanong about dun sa latest na presidential survey. Kasi um, some of you kanina, doon sa live ko kanina, sinasabi nyo, uh, merong bagong survey from a certain ano, RP Mission and Development Foundation. Mali, actually ang sabi nyo, may survey yung DZRH. Yun yung sabi nyo. Tapos, ako naman, okay, punta tayo sa DZRH. Tapos eto yung nakita ako. No, sabi rito, BBM Sara, nanguna sa survey na ginagawa ng RP Mission and Development Foundation Inc. noong November 16 to 24. Ano ba ngayon? November 26. Wow, okay, two days. All right. Sa tanong na, who would you vote for president if the election will be held today? Nakakuha si BBM daw ng 24%, 23.94, so 24% na rin yon. Tapos si Mayor Isko naman daw nakakuha ng 21.75. Sa kaparehong tanong para sa Vice President, nakakuha si Mayor Sara Duterte ng 44.88%. Samantalang ang pumapangalawa daw sa kanya ay si Senate President Tito Soto with 33.2%. Ayon daw sa RP Mission and Development Foundation, 10,000 ang kanilang respondents at ang, at ang methodology ng kanilang survey ay face-to-face interviews. All right. So ngayon, ito problema ko. Yung una kong issue, sabi ko, pag tumitingin, di ba, sabi ko sa inyo, pag tumitingin ako sa mga survey, mahalaga tingnan natin methodology. Now, ano ibig sabihin ng methodology? Yung paraan kung paano nila ginawa yung survey. Kasi guys, depende yan eh. Halimbawa, halimbawa, ano, tumatakbo, bigyan ko lang ng example. Um, halimbawa, ang mga Binay, malakas sa Makati, tapos magsisenatorial survey tayo, surveying Metro Manila, tapos, kuwari may 300 respondents. Eh, paano kung inilagay mo lahat yan sa ano? Yung 300 respondents, lahat kapitbahay ni Binay. Eh, di syempre, biased yung sampling. So, ngayon, ito yung ito na ito, so so mahalaga na nakikita natin kung ano yung pinanggagalingan ng data kung paano nila kinalkal yung data and that is what we're gonna that's what we're gonna do right now all right so um DZRH news ayan ito, ito so ito yung mga numbers Ma, uh, basahin lang natin ng mabilis yung mga numbers ha all right um Ferdinand Marcos 2394 Isko, 2175. Pacquiao, 1594. Robredo, 1510. Bongo, 1425. Laxon, 635. Um, Abelia, 0.1. Okay, tapos meron daw 2.56% na, uh, na nag-refuse. Alright, now as for the um, vice presidential uh, data uh, na survey, ngayon 44, basically ano, in diverse Tito Soto daw. Okay, ngayon, pag pumunta tayo rin sa main na post, pinapakita dito sa baba, meron ditong link, uh, isang Facebook link, no? So i-click natin to. So it brings us to the latest RP Mission and Development Foundation na post. So presumably kinuha ito kinuha ito ng uh, kinuha ito ng um, ng DZRH from this post, 'di ba? Um, medyo mas ano, mas mahaba yung write up dito. Ano, i real time ko na lang na Tagalog ha. Um, just in si BBM at si Sara nangunguna sa pinakahuling survey, November 25, 2021. Habang papalapit na habang papalapit na ang eleksyon si Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos ay nang uh, nagigin daw ng momentum na nagresul sa manong English pero sige na nga <laughs> actually red flag na yan pag basa maayong English pero sige na nga 23.94 isko yung number ni isko hindi naman daw lumalayo sa kompetisyon ay yung dating uh, boksingero na si Manny Pacquiao Lenny Robredo at si Bongo daw 14.25 placing him at 5th si Laxon and then Ernie Abelia yada yada so baba tayo nasan yung methodology rito guys 
Kasi hanggang doon sa second to the last na paragraph, puro data lang. Walang explanation sa methodology. So ngayon, um, the survey was implemented November 16 to 24, 2021, face-to-face interviews with 10,000 respondents. 10,000 respondents. Taken from the 61.8 million registered voters. Margin of error is 2 plus minus. Okay. With 9... Sorry guys ah. Nakatapos, uno po ako sa mathematical statistics ha. Hindi po ganito sabihin ng margin of error. Ang margin of error po dapat plus minus bago sa 2. Dapat plus minus 2 at hindi with. Dapat ang sinabi mo, margin of error is plus minus 2% at 95% confidence level. Red flag na naman. All right. Um, so ngayon, ang, ang pinakamalaki kong issue rito, kung face-to-face survey ito at 10,000 yung respondents, anong araw ba ngayon? November 26. So yung, kung nag-face-to-face survey ka, from kailan daw yung face-to-face survey? November 16 to 24. So ilang araw yun? 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 9 nine days. So approximately 1,100 ang, ano on the average, 1,100 ang face-to-face mo every day. If you have the capacity to interview 1,100 people all, ano, every day, na presumably all over the Philippines, you should be a large organization. Hindi biro po ang 10,000 po na inter- 1,100 na interview. Tapos secondly, hindi po pinapakita, hindi pa ina-explain so far. Ha? Maka mamaya may explanation din, hahanapin natin. Maka mamaya may explanation kung paano yung ginawa nilang sampling. Ano ba to? 10,000 lang na kaya nilang mahanap o 10,000 na ano, merong, merong taga, may, may algorithm sila para pang randomize ng, ng mga samples. Sa mano itsura eh, ng survey. So anyway, um, so zoom out tayo ng konti. So RP Mission and Development Foundation, first, sino, ano, tingnan nga natin kung meron siyang link papunta. Wala. Wala siyang link papunta doon sa actual na paper. So punta tayo sa about. About. So it shows here na Uh, may website siya, may phone number admin at rpmd.ph okay tapos meron ba ritong page quality wala eh, wait double check lang natin eh, check ng ano natin ano ba yung reviews, kasi reviews kasi ano eh ah, is cost propaganda page, ganun okay, more about Community, check din natin. Wala naman masyado. About. So, may, meron siyang website lang. Um, may FB page siya. Bakla, ito nga FB page niya. So, i-click natin yung rpmd.ph. So, punta tayo rin sa kanyang website. So, ngayon, wait lang. Okay, connection is secure. In fairness, Meron siyang ano, HTTPS. So, unang tingin pa lang, ano ba to? Weird na ha. Gini lang. Ganyan natin to. Ganyan na, natin na ano, alt print screen. Paint. So, kinopya ko guys yung picture ng yung arrow. Tapos, i-google image search ko. Kasi parang stock footage to eh. Dali lang. Dali lang ha. In real time ko lang ito sinecheck. Wala pa akong mga ibang results eh. Um, G, G, uh, G image. Gim na lang. GIM. Desktop. Save. Tapos ano lang natin. Google image search. Okay, upload. Dali lang ha, i-upload ko lang image. Wait, choose file. Clipboard. 
Okay, balik ko ulit. Wait lang ah. Ah. Uh, <coughs> so apparently parang kinopya to sa TED Talks. Ayun no. Same na photo. All right. So wala silang ano, ang nawiwirdohan ako dito for a for a, for an, for, a, for an organization that can implement a gigantic survey of 10,000 respondents. Wala man lang silang pera pang kuha ng sarili nilang picture. Okay. Okay, next. Balik tayo rin. Ito, malamang yan. Na ano lang yan. Sige lang. So, basahin natin yung website nila, guys. We help leaders and organizations solve their most pressing problems. We bridge the gap between the science of ana- analytics with the art of advice. We guide clients identify... Bad English. We guide clients identify their consulting requirements and together achieve what's possible. Sama nung... Sama nung... Um, all right. With our expertise, you can discover the data, that the data you need to make better decisions and create a brighter path for your for your organization or or our society create a brighter path for your our society okay sige check us out we can partner with you to measure and understand the data that matters most to achieve your goals our mission and values our mission is to provide a continuous stream of accurate data insights at chuchu it's just bad english all right scroll, scroll down So, nag-11th anniversary sila recently. Okay? So, ang sabi rito rin sa ano, um, as we celebrate our 11th year anniversary, okay, as it is, it's still bad English. Guys, ang anniversary, automatic yun. At, di ba, ano ba ang isa mga root word ng ano, anniversary, anum, year. So, 11th anniversary, redundant pag sinabi nyo 11th year anniversary. Pero sige na lang. I mean, if you're if you're an organization that ha- that can um, implement a 10,000 respondent survey in, a, in in record time, I mean, dude, you, st- you should have at least a copywriter, de ba? Wag nito. All right, as we celebrate our 11th year anniversary of helping the society grasp the latest developments in terms of our leaders. Okay, walang apostrophe, performances, mm-hmm, bad English. Mm-hmm. All right, Dr. Paul Martinez, o sige. Wait, ngayon, nung chinek ko dito, pinost nila yung picture last night. No. Pinost nila yung picture last night. Nung google natin, sino tong Dr. Paul Martinez? Alright, puro ito. Paul Martinez. Check natin yung first ano result. Joy Vico Isco Best Mayors. So ano to based ito sa RP Mission and Development Survey, RP Mission and Development na survey. Mm-mm. So eh next the shoe won't fit Paul Martinez of RPMD, okay lang. Gawin natin Paul Martinez minus RPMD. Ibig sabihin nun guys, sa hanap tayo ng mga resulta sa Google without RPMD, no? All right. Um, Dr. Paul Martinez, Executive Director. All right, check natin. Paul. Representative, one Pacman representative Michael Romero, Access Representative Eric Yap, Anna Kalusugan Representative Defensor, uh, Rep. Herrera, Dr. Paul Martinez, Executive Director, National Capital Region, Part... So, yun pa rin, RP, RPMD pa din, so redundant, no? Next, yung susunod na Paul Martinez ay puro mga doktor. 
Oh, puro mga doktor. Kasi tingnan mo to, oh, Dr. Paul Martinez of RPMDC. So, RPMD pa rin. So, yun pa rin yung tina- ayaw natin makita. So, who is Paul Martinez outside RPMD? So, apparently, wala. Oh, second page tayo. Pagbigyan lang natin. MDMD pa din. RPMD pa din to. So, no. So, it, apparently, this Dr. Paul Martinez has no, apparently, has no online, ex- has no significant online existence outside of RPMD. All right. Next, um, balik tayo rin sa survey. Home. Isko, isko talaga, okay. Tapos ano, hmm, dito walang methodology, di ba? So what we can do instead is to check, ano, is to check which one, ano, uh, which, uh, which of the previous surveys yung pinost nila yung methodology. So scrolling down, um, scrolling down, meron silang pinost na yung previous nila na presidential survey was on November 1st, 2021. Tapos i-check natin kung ano yung, ala eh, press release lang to. Oh. Ala, oh. Okay. The race for the president is a stringy competition, statistically, for Mayor Isko and former Senator Bongbong Marcos. In the latest nationwide poll, with 10,000 face-to-face respondents, conducted October 17 to 26 by RPMD. All right? So, yun na yung methodology nila. Wala nang kahit ano paano nila kinalat yung mga tao, paano sila nag-sampling. Wala. Wala. All right. So, going back, tingnan natin muna yung mga videos na ito. Videos. So, ang most popular kay Isko, sige lang. May greetings daw on their 11th anniversary. Okay. Ang problema, before the 11th anniversary, wala silang greetings on their 10th anniversary. Gets ninyo? Ang, ang issue ko dito guys, is, is this a fly-by-night na survey outfit? E prior sa 11th anniversary, wala man lang nag-high sa kanilang 10th anniversary. Weird. Okay, next. Di ba? Di ba kinagtataka? 10th anniversary, wala. So ano to? Nagka-reputasyon ba to? Nung 11th anniversary lang nila? Nung 10th anniversary, walang bumati sa kanila? Ano ba? May cellphone din naman nun. All right, ngayon, I do, um, sabi ko, ang, ang isa sa mga trick, uh, isa sa mga ginawa ko guys, chine ko muna SEC Express. Yung SEC Express, ito po yung ano, sa Securities and Exchange Commission. Check ko lang muna kung meron silang registration. Now, um, normally what I what I would normally uh, what I would normally do, I order ako ng kanilang ano articles of incorporation and bylaws, auto, ano, audited annual financial statements. Mga ganon. Kaya lang syempre it takes time para dumating yun. So mamaya pa ako order However, what we can check ay eh, kung whether yung pangalan na yun eh, is in the SEC database. So I went to the X- SEC Express system. Ito, na-check ko na to kanina. Nakita ko sila, may problema nga lang ng konti. So una, pag gagawin natin, RP, useless na gawing search yan. Kasi hahanapin yan yung string na RP, e eh, di ba ang incorporated, lahat sila incorporated. So lahat ng incorporated lilitaw. Pero remember, yung pangalan nila ay RP Mission and Development Survey. So pwede natin gawin, Mission and Development. Kasi yun yung kasama rin sa string ng pangalan nila, di ba? So, enter. Mission and Development Survey. Tatlo yung lumitaw. Leaders United, OCARM Mission Development Office, and RP Mission, ito, mukhang ito yun. RP Mission and Development Foundation Incorporated. Ayan, ayan, ayan. Ayan sa baba. So, i-click natin. Ngayon, pag kinilik mo dito, dito na yung pangalawang red, isa sa mga red flag na lumitaw. Tingnan ninyo, oh. Ano, at tingnan nyo guys, may, may something weird. So, nagkaroon siya, binuo siya approximately 2011. Ayan na lumitaw, Articles of Incorporation and Bylaw. Bylaws. Pero, apparently, wala dito sila ng mga sinasubmit na audited financial statements since 2011. Eh, para sa isang, para sa isang survey outfit na kaya mag-mobilize ng 10,000 people 
almost every month, hindi ka magpapasa, magpapasa ng iyong mga AFS for the past 10 years. Diba? Eh kung ang survey mo lang, tipo isang daan lang, eh, dead man, magkano lang na may i-audit mo doon, iyaan mo na. Pero walang AFS. And then, um, yung form type, yung other documents nila sinabmit, IPSD show cause letter, 3-15-2016. So, nagkaroon, ang next activity nila, ito, March 2016. This was the election period. Yeah, this was the election period um, nung, nung tumatak si Pangulong Duterte. Tapos, may registration membership book. So, ano lang to Well, pangalan ng mga member. Tapos, 24 November. So, it was submitted alongside the Articles of Incorporation the same day. But other than that, it has no footprint. It has no footprint sa Securities and Exchange Commission. So, ngayon, I went back to Google. RP Mission and Development Foundation, Inc. Binogel ko yan. Now, delimitaw yung mga results. So, what did I do? Tools, anytime, custom range. Ibig sabihin ito guys, hahanapin ko yung mga entries nila. Ano, parang ano ba yung history ng uh, RP Mission and Development Foundation? So first, pwede nating i-limit siya. Ang latest na magiging entry ay 01 01 2020. So bago mag-pandemic. 01 01 2020. Ay, hindi na pilit kin namlak. So meron pa rin dilitaw diyan kasi 2019 meron. Now, Kaya lang ito, Facebook lang. <coughs> Sa baba, hindi lumilitaw yung pangalan nila. Before, apparently ha, before January 1st, 2020, Facebook page pa lang nila yung lumilitaw. Wala nang ibang mentions. Ay, natito tayo sa page 2. Wala. Page 3. Wala. So apparently, prior to January 1st, 2020, wala silang significant na online footprint. Lumitaw sila, siguro. O, gawin natin ano, January 1, 2021. So maging custom range niyan, 01, 01, 2020 to 01, 01, 2021. O yan, lumitaw na siya. RP Mission and Development Foundation, yan lumitaw. December lumitaw din siya. Belmonte, Soto Moreno. Okay. June 27, lumitaw na naman siya. December, so December, June. December. So, apparently, bigla lang siya lumitaw nung 20, ano na, nung mismong year 2020. Noong 2019 pa atras, wala. Ngayon, if you're gonna go back to their page, for, for I mean seriously, tingnan natin lang, kumpara lang natin guys, SWS survey. Punta lang natin website ng SWS. I mean, may, ito pinaka, sa lahat ng mga website ng mga survey outfits, pinakabulok po yung sa SWS. Pero nakita nyo naman guys, na... No? In fairness to social ano so, uh, social weather stations, may malinaw na about. Pag kinlik mo yung about page, ayun o, malinaw o, President Linda Luz Guerrero, Vice President Gerardo Sandoval, Secretary, Treasurer, Members of the Board, may founding fellows, officers. So you can background check who's actually doing the survey. Unfortunately, for RP Mission, if we're gonna go back to their website, RPMD, dot ph hindi man sila nag ano guys maliban sa isang mention noong 11th founding kembot nila with Dr. Paul Martinez wala silang about page for an organization for an, orga- for an organization na na kaya mag 10,000 people almost every month it's kind of shocking na wala man hindi man lang ilabas yung mga pangalan Gets nyo? Ano ba to? How show ba to na ano? Ano ba to? Distraford uli? Ganun ba? Ayun, know, powered by GoDaddy. Okay. Ano to? Kasi in-imagine ko lang guys, kung face-to-face yung mga interviews, tapos ano, you, you get, ano 10,000 interviews yun ha? 10,000 face-to-face interviews. Tapos, natapos mo siya ng November. Ito yung pinaka-nawiwirdohan ako sa lahat. Sorry ha? 
um, home. Kung meron 10,000 face-to-face interviews held on, kailan, kailan ano, ginanap yung interview? Okay, election time gets closer. Charot-charot. Okay, charot-charot-charot. Kailan ba hinold? November 16 to 24. Ang November 16 to 24 po guys, ay natapos siya Wednesday. No? Wednesday. Tapos, nirelease ito 17 hours ago. So, Thursday. Ano ba 17 hours ago? 12 hours ago was, um, 12 hours ago was 1.24 a.m. Minus 5 pa. So, approximately 8.24 p.m. nilabas. So, are you telling me na natapos nyo ng Wednesday night yung 10,000 people na sinurvey ninyo, na verify nyo na, na cleanest nyo na yung data, na compute nyo na, nag na yung board of directors ninyo, at nagawa nyo na yung graphics and all in less than 24 hours? Gets nyo? In less than 24 hours, nakulit mo, na, nalinis mo yung data. Tapos, secondly, total, ano, total registered voters Philippines. Uh, registered voters for 2022 polls hit 63 million. Sabi sa Rappler. Alright, 62 million. Okay. So ngayon, ito yung question. Ilan yung voters noong 2019? So, pwede total registered voters Philippines 2019. Tools, anytime, custom range. Siguro ilagay natin sa 01, um, 01 2020. The country has a total of 61.843771 registered voters. Okay. 61.8, okay. More or less, tama na rin yung ano, 10,000 respondents from 61.843.730. Now, here's the problem. First, how did you get, kasi di ba 10,000 respondents taken from 61.8 million people? Question, do you, have a, do you have access to the Comelec database that allows you to pinpoint kung nasaan yung 61.8 million na yun? How, di, how exactly did you find yung 10,000 from that 60, sabi natin 62 million, 10,000 from that 62 million, ano, 62 million na voter base. Ano ba to Data privacy issue ba to Ano ba? Kasi ang pagkakaalam ko, um, hindi dapat nilalabas ng COMELEC yung details ng 62 million voters per data privacy laws. So how exactly did you choose the 10,000 respondents? Now let's go back dun sa Public Us Asia survey, Public Us Asia. Kumpara lang natin. Pahayag ba yun? Pahayag. <coughs> Excuse me. Click lang natin. Ha? Medyo matagal lang itong mag-load. Ano ba? Ayaw pumindot. Ito. Ito. Ano nangyari? Okay, Google URL. Medyo mabaga lang talaga. Pero ito yung point. No, chinek. Ito na pala. Ito na. Mabaga lang talaga mag-load tong sa ano. Uy, malutikiya. Bilisan nyo nga yung website nyo. Ta- eh, ano nga. Taasan nyo nga yung ano. Yung hosting plan nyo. Bagal eh. Alright. So, eto Pahayag Q3 survey. October October 11. Ganito po yung tamang methodology. Ha? So halimbawa, ito, Pahayag Quarter 3 survey ay isang independent at non-commissioned poll done by Public as Asia. Okay? May six modules measured, at chuchu national issues, at chuchu scorecard, at chuchu ganyan-ganyan. Executive summary lang to eh. 
So, ina-explain na mabuti paano yung breakdown. I mean, honestly, kulang pa ito as it is. Kulang pa. Pero, at least, pasabuti na to kesa doon sa isang survey na ibinagsak lang nila, parang inilagapak lang nila yung data, tapos bahala na tayo, okay na, oo na. Medyo, fishy wa, ano to? Fishy. Ito pa lang, dito na ako nawala eh. Sino yung statistician nila? Margin of error is 2 plus minus with 95% confidence level. You don't say it this way. You say margin of error is plus minus 2% at 90 at 95 confidence level. Pero ito lang, dito ako nawala eh. 2 plus minus. Ikaw mismo yung nag-post. May something weird. So ano yung point? Hindi ako maniniwala sa survey na to. Ganun lang po. Medyo shady. Shady yung eksena nila. Tapos isipin mo, yung 11 years na kayo, tapos yun mo, RPMD. Nasa ba yung website nila? 11 years na kayo, ganun tala itsura ng website niyo Sinalpak lang. Nakita niyo yung itsura, yung parang ano, module-module lang yung website nila. May module dito, may module dyan, isinalpak yung isang picture. May isang module dito, is, 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 na, ano, sinalpak yung dalawang mukhang picture lang. Ah. Tapos eto na naman, may isa na namang module dito, yung kulay puti. Tapos sinalpak, ayun, may linya pa nga dun. Eh. Sinalpak pa to, sinalpak pa to. Ganun, salpak-salpak lang yung ano nila, website nila. Isi din nyo, oh. Tapos, ang dulo, Facebook, RP Mission and Development Foundation, Incorporated. Hindi wala man lang link papunta sa Facebook nila. Tapos, ang, ang contact mo lang, isang email, walang phone number. Weird. Eh, hindi ako maniniwala rito. Alright, fa- ano, five questions guys. Mukhang ano lang, pucho-pucho lang na survey firm to. Kung totoo man siyang survey firm. Judging from, ano, these details. I mean, seriously guys, if you have 10,000, and if you can interview 10,000 people in a span of nine days, and you have, ano, is a, ano, a large enough fleet of statisticians and computer programmers, para ano i- i- i-process yung 10,000 responses in about 24 hours. Tapos ganito itsura ng website mo. Nye. Five questions. Baka may ano, kinalaman dito. Ano to? Wait lang ha. Alright, next question tayo, question. TB, pwede ba magdikit ng tarpaulin ng mga presidential aspirant dito sa amin sa CDO? May isko nang nakadikit. Well, in fairness to ano, Mayor Isko Moreno, technically, wala pa po na kandidato ngayon. So, wala silang bina, bina, binaviolate so far. Na, uh, question, sir, ano pong masasa- masasabi? Ang bababaw naman ng mga tanong na yan. Ano masasabi? Next. Um... Yeah, kasi ang, ang point guys ko dito sa survey na to, parang sisiryosohin ko ba to? Eh wala, ni, hindi ko lang alam kung sino gumawa ng mathematics dito. For all we know, baka mamaya si Lenny pa gumawa ng matnet. Yung parang sinasalpak lang nila yung numbers. Walang, weird. Walang, kulang na kulang sa detalye. Kasi basically guys, kung ano, Kung halimbawa, ang pinag-uusapan ni Pulse HR, SWS, I know a lot of you guys, merong mga duda na rin sa Pulse and SWS. At least, alam natin na they've been there for quite a while. May konti credibility. However, if what you're gonna do is uh, start a survey outfit, nandun ka pa sa point na ano, nagbibuild up ko pa ng credibility. Put more details para hindi ka na ma-add ominem attack. ba? Para makita natin yung validity ng iyong methodology. Eh, wala eh. Sinalpak lang nila yung number eh. 
So, hmm, feeling ko parang, ewan ko, parang may karga, ewan ko. I'm not sure, baka mamaya mali ako. Pero judging from what I've seen so far, it doesn't look good. Oh, yun na lang muna. So, dead ma. Um, next. Ay, ayun na, yun na lang muna. Ano lang to? Parang pucho-pucho lang na serve. Pucho-pucho. I mean, ako, ako naman po okay lang sa akin na yung mga ibang commentator dyan. Mag-comment kayo sa survey. Okay lang tao. Eh, bultante tayong lahat eh. Pero ang issue ko lang, sana man lang, intindihin nyo naman yung basic na mathematics, yung basic lang na statistics. Stat 101, tinuturo po yung sampling methods. Hindi nyo ba nakikita kung saan sumablay na? Dito pa lang, unang tingin pa lang, sablay na. ba? Diba? So, eh, again, ako po si TPDH ng mga DH signing out. Corny? No, corny na ako. Sa... 